guys welcome to my channel today we will be reviewing the replacement battery for Lenovo T500 so I was personally searching for some good review on replacement batteries and I didn't find any that's the problem so I decided to record my own so I was looking that some people bought uh, the cheapest I believe it starts with LTDKM something like that Chinese batteries which are very bad so now I will show you the battery that I got from German seller from the eBay and the brand is NSTAR. I'm gonna post the link for this battery in the description. So let me open this package. I still didn't test it out. So let me open the package and see what do we have inside. This battery is 40 euros so it's not some crap cheap battery. So we'll see now when we test it out. So you can see the brand over here is called the NSTAR and this one is 10.8 volts, 8800 milliamperes, 95, 95 watt hours. So this one should be good. I, I believe this is 12 cell battery as you can see it's very big. So as you can see over here the shape and you can see this one over here additionally. It is very big battery so I'm very excited to test this out and see how many hours of battery life this battery is gonna give me so let's pop it in in this baby and let's test it out so this is first time me using this battery did not test it before so let's just connect the battery in flips fits nice makes a laptop very heavy but i don't mind let's try to power this laptop now with this battery yeah it turns on which is good 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 sign and then we'll run some battery test We'll run some battery test to see the real capacity of this battery. It says that's 8800. Now we will see is that true. What it says in the description. So I'm gonna pause this just until the laptop boots up. Okay, the laptop is booting. Almost there. Then we will go in the command prompt and use this command power configuration slash battery report then let's go to do that let's check over here it says two hours and 12 minutes remaining on 74 percent i'm not happy when i see that because this this should last much longer but we'll see we'll see This battery should last at least five hours. So let's go in the command prompt. And let's run the command. Let me just find this on my keyboard. So I'm running some difficulties with trying for uh, finding forward slash because this laptop I'm not using and I don't know which which key I need to press. So let me see here on this application. Okay, there we are. I think I found it. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, battery report saved. Part C, Windows System 32, battery report. Okay, it's a Windows System 32. Let's go there. Local disk C, Windows System 32. Let me see the battery time change. No. Still showing 2 hours 13 minutes. That's not good, definitely not good. But maybe this battery needs to be charged properly and calibrated a few times. Well, let's see. Battery report. Okay, found it. Okay. It really is showing 92. Capacity remaining 68.650. So, yes, this battery really has the capacity what seller has provided so i will do some tests and then i will okay now the battery life updated and it's showing much more so this probably is very good battery as we can see over here four hours let me go click in the battery it says four hours and 53 minutes remaining and now it's 73 percent so it's not, it didn't came fully charged, you can see over here, design capacity is 95,000 milliwatt hours, and you can see here, full charge capacity is 92,070 milliwatt hours, that's very good. So I will run the test on this battery, you can see over here that the battery manufacturer is Sanyu, I think, if I'm not wrong, that this manufacturer is not bad. And you can have the under the name you have some like a name for the battery so you can see you can maybe search this battery online with this under this code the code name as you can see battery usage over the last three days it's not used so we will see Okay, interesting here usage history so maybe somebody was testing this battery to see some things as you can see here here is 2020 and you have some 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 days the battery was used a little bit but overall not even five hours so maybe they were just testing the battery is the battery properly working okay so that'll be it for the first review. I'm gonna post the other video when I uh, actually test this battery. So I'm gonna record. I'm gonna open YouTube video and I'm gonna play a movie and I will see how long this battery can last. Thank you for watching video. If you like, subscribe to my channel. Okay, guys, I have fully charged the battery. Now let's see what do we have here. Battery life 100%. 8 hours and 46 minutes remaining this is just showing me now as soon as I turn the laptop on so let's run the battery battery uh, health check again now when it's fully charged let's go to CMD And let's perform the, again the the battery check. Let me just check the command for this. Okay, 
So the command was power configuration battery report. So let's go now to local this C Windows system 32 and let's read the battery report file. There we are. Okay, we have the battery report. We have a manufacturer, as I said before. Full charge, full charge capacity. And we can see over here, this is the earlier check that I did, and this is now, because now it's two o'clock. This is the one that I performed now. Report generated now, capacity is 99%. And now we can see that we I have left 91,590 milliwatt um, hours. So yes, this uh, bat battery capacity is very good. It's not fake like some uh, cheap batteries that you buy on AliExpress. I need to repeat one more time that this battery I didn't buy on AliExpress. This battery I bought on eBay from a uh, very good seller and, and as I said I will leave the link to this battery in the video description so let's go now again to estimate the uh, estimated battery time as you can see still it's 7 hours 48 minutes so I think with usage of this laptop that this laptop is gonna be working around five hours but we will also perform the test so i'm gonna perform the test and i'm gonna fast forward the test later so you guys can see how long this battery is gonna last so we will perform the battery test so i'm gonna charge it back on a hundred percent and then we, we will start with the test okay guys the laptop is fully charged I will put the laptop over here. And then we will start the test. That's the stopwatch program. Let's connect the internet. Okay, I can start with the timer. Let's go on the... Let's go on YouTube and find one very big video. Long video. Let's just type uh, maybe documentary. Filter. Okay, we cannot, okay, we cannot filter that they are very long. Okay, let's try to find something. That is long, so like four hours or something like that. 53 minutes, one hour and 25. Long video. Let's try like that. Okay, this one is eight hours. Okay. It says eight hours of burning fire. Okay. Let's put the sound. On 96. 
So let's put sound like let's say 80%. Let's bring back stopwatch and and let's see how long this battery is gonna last. And now I'm gonna be just fast forwarding from this moment so it's gonna go faster so you guys can actually see how long this battery lasted
Okay guys, so I'm looking now in the end after I finished the battery test. I don't know for what reason, but the battery, this is at 18.05 when the laptop shut off. So it got suspended or turned off at 33% of the battery remaining and it lasted the, the test 4 hours. So still it had 30 uh, 30,800 milliwatt hours. So I'm gonna uh, charge this battery uh, completely and redo the test and, and see if there is any difference. And I will post another video if there is any difference. If not, I will let you know in a video description later on. Thank you for watching this video.